when I was a freshman, they used to rank you and put your average up on the board, if you can imagine this. So there was 225 kids in my class, and I'm looking up at the board, looking for my name, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, and then I found my name. It was really almost at the bottom. I was number 167 out of 225. When I graduated that school, I won't tell you the year, because <laughs> most of you weren't born, um, I ranked seventh in my class out of 225. And I've got to tell you, I was no smarter the day I graduated than the day that I was 167. I just broke the code. I showed myself what the deal was. I showed myself how I can make things happen by doing proper time management and proper goal setting. Because only 5% of the people on the planet will be successful. 95 will not. I can't help the 95. I can only help you if you want to be in the five. So when I wrote my goals down and I had them on my, my lamp at nighttime, it was the last thing that I saw when I went to bed. And it was the first thing that I saw when I woke up. It was in my head all the time. It's absolutely, it's absolutely critical. Most kids will not do it, but they'll do it after I talk to them, because I get them in a the headlock. Get them in the head, you, know, get them, you know, just, just bring them on over here. Well, if you're sleeping in school, you can't learn. And everybody else is doing better than you. Now keep in mind, everybody's got about the same IQ. So if all of a sudden you're sleeping for two or three hours in the afternoon, you're not picking it up, bottom line. So you show them what it takes to make this thing happen, step by step. That's what it's about. And you've got to be there for them as their mentor, and you've got to be in their corner to believe in what they're doing. If you want to get a paycheck here, you have to provide goods and services here. If you're going to provide goods and services here, you have to have an education here. I don't care whether you go to college, technical school, trade school, divinity school, doesn't matter. But my brother who didn't go to college got his education on the job as a builder. And now he builds homes in Napa, California and does very, very well for himself. I'm telling you today that the stress aspect, if you want to control it, you got to get it's all in the mind. So once you can get into a program that basically says, hey, look, I'm pushing forward. I'm going to make things happen. You're going to feel better. This is my uh, DVD, the Success for Teens. And these are the, the sections within it. You know, we go through the pathway. Then we go through the, um, the time management, how you spend, how you, how you invest your time. And then we go through the goal setting, which is a 10-step process that, that I take the kids through. And then, of course, dealing with setback, which is the part that I love. The PMA, which is the positive mental attitude. The fitness part, which is, you know, like I said before, I do absolutely believe that the mind and the body are totally connected. And the last part is about giving back. And the only thing I ask of kids is this. When I make you successful, you have to make me a promise of just helping one kid, moving it forward, paying it forward. So that's what this DVD is all about. But thanks. 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 Appreciate it. Thanks.